It's about time I do SpongeBob. I'll be analyzing the glass dome of Sandy Cheeks and discovering whether or not it could withstand all of the water pressure. To find the water pressure, I need to know the depth of Bikini Bottom. In the episode with the magic pencil, the pencil falls from the surface of the sea. It takes approximately 41.5 seconds to do so. But to find the depth, I also need to know how fast it fell. Yet again, I'm calculating terminal velocity, but I'm not going to go through it all. I want the math in this video to be minimalistic. Just know that the pencil is an airfoil shape, that it's 8 millimeters thick, and that it's 5 milligrams. In the end, I found that it falls at about 25 kilometers an hour, or about 15 miles an hour. This is assuming that the pencil is unrealistically pointing down the whole time, but in the episode, it shows to do that. Also, it's kind of slow because it's in the water, not the air. Using the speed it falls and the time it takes, it is easily discovered that Bikini Bottom is 285 meters or 940 40.5 feet deep. Using the depth in the water pressure formula, I found out that Bikini Bottom and Sandy's Dome are being constantly exposed to 2,795,850 pascals, or 405 pounds per square inch. That's a lot, but they're sea creatures, so they're fine. Sandy, however, is not. So now the big question. Could Sandy Cheeks Dome withstand that pressure? Well, SpongeBob's confirmed height is 4 inches, and using Photoshop I compared SpongeBob to the outline of Sandy's glass dome. The glass is about half an inch thick. Next, I continued to use SpongeBob to measure the radius and height of Sandy's dome. Doing more math, I calculated that Sandy's dome is constantly experiencing 500 million pounds of water on the top, and a total of 1.5 billion pounds of water from all around it. Remember, this is just the dome, not entrance. So, what do you think? Can glass half an inch thick withstand 1.5 billion pounds? It's a dome shape, and that helps. But I strongly disagree with this working. After all, there's so much pressure on Sandy's dome because it's full of air. The structure simply wouldn't work, and neither would pursuit. Please like, comment and subscribe.